Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back at Downtown Disney. I'm here in hopes that the Haiti Spirit Jersey will finally be here. Most of the Halloween merch has already been released except that, and I think like two face masks. But this is the current look at Downtown Disney at 9.55. It's not too busy yet. All right, so far we made it into the world of Disney, and and, and I can tell you this, there, there's no Haiti Spirit Jersey to start the video off, but there are a lot of other cool things to see. So here's just one of the three things that I wanted to show you guys today. Look at these, they finally got in the Mickey Pumpkin ears. And I've been checking for a price, but but I hate this, they just leave the tag where they're supposed to have the price uh, just blank. So you just have to like guess and, and assume that they're $29.99. And for anybody who's wondering, they are imitation leather. But they're pretty cool, it's squishy. It all depends. We've got really, really awesome. So there's not one pair of new ears, but two. So let's go ahead and move on with the uh, the next ears that I want to show you guys. Look at these, like they came out with these very like dark purple sequenced ears. They're very, very nice. And at least this one has a price on it, it's $29.99. I assume most of their ears are $29.99, unless they like light up or something, but they have they have a good amount still, but I can imagine them selling out pretty quick because people are, I like grabbed me by like the handfuls. Same thing with the uh, the Mickey pumpkin ones. And if you're curious, they still have like the mustardy yellow looking ones and then the emerald green ones. So they have a good selection of ears right now. If you want like a solid looking color, it's like a madhouse in here. Look, like as soon as they open the doors, everybody just rushed in. And right now, I hear that the the, the maximum occupancy in here is is has been like raised higher, so you can have more people in here. You guys see anything new here? Look at this. They have Baby Yoda, at, well, the child, but I call him Baby Yoda. Crocs. They're very blank. Like, to be honest, they're like mainly silver, and then just the charm on the Crocs are just the child. I'm guessing this is like the Mandalorian portion of it, and then, you know, the child, obviously. Uh, but, I mean, they're kind of cool. I think the charm is what adds to all of it. Um, as well with like most of the stuff today, um, there's no price on it, but I did ask a cast member earlier and they said they were $54.99, which I assume all the Crocs are at the same price as well. Um, but they have a lot of them. They have a lot of these. Uh, let me check. I think these look like the biggest size they have. These are uh, 10 in men and the 12 in women. I assume that's the highest that they go in. And then the smallest, it looks like they are a 2 in men and a 4 in women. So. If you range between those sizes and you like the child, make sure you guys pick these up. Isn't it crazy that you could wear the child on your back? On your head. They have a spirit jersey too, so you can wear them on your body. And now you can wear them on your feet. These are all over the place. Oh, you got socks too? Dang. You can be completely child out. That's probably how I'm gonna dress up when the Mandalorian season two comes out. I'm gonna be like just fully dressed in the child. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm in the Star Wars section right now, and for the most part, everything's looking about the same. They have like the same spirit jerseys. They still have like these childs right here. They have these Yoda ears. Yoda backpacks, I think they are. Yeah, Yoda backpacks. Chewbacca backpacks. Chewbacca ears. Ewok lounge fly, like little wristlets. They have those here. Looks like they got more of the uh, Mandalorian Razor Crest in. One day. They still have like a full arsenal of lightsabers here. And then a couple pops, they got DJ Rex and Honda Onaka. I did show this on Instagram and I haven't like made a video on it. Uh, just cause I didn't think it was a huge, huge deal, but I wanted to show you guys now. Uh, due to all the heat, Disney did release these uh, misting fans again. They have like a lot of them. And they're really great cause lately it's been pretty hot. Well, the weather's been kind of crazy. It's been like hot and like cold. It hasn't been like been able to make up his mind yet, but they do have them here. They're $15. And look, they have a lot, a bunch of them. I assume that whenever the Haiti Spirit Jersey does arrive, it'll probably be in this area where the villains are, but still not here, sadly. I don't know what is taking them so long. Everybody's here for you waiting. This was released on Friday, which was a couple days ago, and it's a five pack of socks of all the villains. It's pretty nice, they're $24.99, and then they have, they have the Evil Queen, they got Hades, Maleficent, Dr. Facilier, and they have Ursula. Really nice like pair of socks. The box feels a little flimsy, but 
Uh, that doesn't really matter. You're not gonna be wearing those. But twenty-four ninety-nine. They have like a lot. These were going pretty quick the other day too. As of right now, they do only have the Boo uh, face mask and the uh, the one with the pumpkins on it. But hopefully soon they'll get the Jack and Sally ones that they did release on uh, Shop Disney. They have not made it here yet. There's also some Mul some Milan ones that are supposed to come too, but uh, as well they haven't come in yet. There's a really really big restock on these Madame Leota heads. These are pretty cool because they light up and then. Um, if you add water to them, they, they do like that fogging effect. So it's pretty pretty awesome. I think they're $24.99 and if you guys are looking for one, they have a bunch of them right now. I don't know if these masks have been selling out or they've just been reducing them, but this whole thing was full of uh, Haunted Mansion face masks, all in size large. But now it looks like they, they, they like kind of like mixed it up and they put ears and they put one area of large and then this is medium and they still do not have extra large sadly. They still seem to have a lot of the Oogie Boogie merch too. The sweater, the spear jersey, they have some right here, they have some over there. Same, so if you guys are looking for those too, you already know what I'm gonna say. I don't think I remember showing these, but they have these uh, Coco Wishables. These are like the most current ones that they have here in uh, World of Disney. So these are like the ones that you can like buy and you for sure get, and then they have like a bunch of mystery ones in the packs. Recently, I believe Friday, I think it was, they released this Coco Lounge Fly. It's pretty cool. Um, let me turn it around. There's like a little message on the back. It says one, one cannot deny who one is meant to be. And it's $80. So World of Disney was getting a little bit crowded, so I ended up leaving. Uh, those are like the three newest things that I found, which were the two ears and then the, the Crocs. But now I'm gonna head to the dress shop and hopefully there's something new there. Imagine, imagine the Haiti Spirit jerseys in there. That would be funny. How cool, like they have a Darth Vader dress. I'll be cool to wear like on Halloween or something. Let me see like if I can let me see if I can find the price for you. Price is $128. So I just asked a cast member and that uh that Darth Vader dress is brand new, so I'm sure that one's gonna go pretty quick too. I keep saying that, but it's just everything they've been releasing today is like good stuff. Look, I also found these uh these like dark purple sequenced ears here too. So again, if you guys are looking for these uh these ears. Skip the World of Disney and just come into the dress shop and, and buy them here because you'll skip out on a lot of waiting. So World of Disney is pretty busy, but it's not like, it's not like weekend busy. There's still no virtual queues being implemented yet, so must not be too bad yet. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to the uh, Esplanade. Also, by the way, I ended up leaving the dress shop. Uh, I, only saw, I only found like those two, uh, those two things, the ears and then the, uh, the Darth Vader dress. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave and go to the Esplanade. So I know I've been showing you guys this for like the past few weeks now, but look, this is the top of the Emporium and the scaffolding finally came down in that part. There's still some like in the bottom area, but the top is at least done and that's what it's gonna look like. It's really nice. Like the fresh coat of paint makes it look, uh, you know, a lot newer and, and more vibrant and stuff. So it's pretty cool. I cannot wait till they open up again and we can go and uh, visit the Emporium again. That was one of my favorite stories on Main Street. So here's another angle of the uh, the Emporium. Look, you can kind of see where like the, the tarp and stuff came down or like the scrim. Wow. The Emporium is gonna be really, really nice when they're done. How nice, like it looked like they finally tended to the uh, the Mickey planter. Look, he's back to his normal color again. He was looking very faded before. Really glad they did that. How cool, like I'm in front of DCA and if you look inside, there's like a group of cast members walking around uh, the park. I wonder if they're just like retraining or something. So besides the cast members walking around DCA, everything looks about the same. There's no like ground markers or anything yet. All the, the mannequins inside of the windows look about the same. On the Disneyland side, like I showed you guys, the uh, the uh, Emporium looks a little bit different. They already removed like some of the scaffolding, some of the scrim. And then as far as the sink that they added there, well, the hand washing station inside of Disneyland, I saw somebody working on it, but they're probably just like working on the plumbing or, or whatever it is. Like, I'm not too sure. That's that's all I got for you guys today as far as uh, Disneyland updates. I do hear though in downtown Disney, there is a store reopening today and I wanted to show you guys uh, which one it is. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Look, Sprinkles is now reopened. And I heard online that they have a pumpkin spice uh, cupcake. So I think Edna wants one of those. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up for her. So I just put my order in with Sprinkles right now. I got a vanilla and a pumpkin for Edna. So what you do is you just walk up to whoever's standing at the door. They're gonna show you like the, the, the type of cupcakes they have right now. Then you walk in, you walk up to up here because like the closest you can get is to the uh, table right there. And then you just place your order right there and then you pay and everything and then that's about it. And then you get your order. So I'm, I'm sure you guys are curious to see what the cupcakes look like. You guys know what cupcakes look like, but look. 
is that a thing of beauty? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are a big fan of sprinkles like I am. I, I really am. I'm really glad that they're reopened over here in downtown Disney. Um, <clears throat> congratulations to also sprinkles. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, this is the pumpkin one, and I got vanilla for me. That's my wife's. She's a, uh, she's been like on a pumpkin, pumpkin spice uh, binge lately. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and head out now. Eat these later. And for the most part, it's a, it was a nice day over here at uh, Downtown Disney. Just a little bit busy in certain areas, of course, World of Disney. Um, this is like the entrance site over here uh, in front of the old AMC building. And it doesn't look too busy over here, but once you start going down that way, it gets busy. But anyways, if you guys did like this video, please make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.